Well, tonight, parents are scrambling to enroll their children into new schools after a lady of Lourdes announced that they will not be reopening. A school was supposed to start Tuesday. Christina Medina has more on parents' frustration. Good evening. Well, we're told about 65 parents showed up at the meeting tonight, and this announcement, as you mentioned, came exactly one week before school was supposed to start here. Children tonight hold their parents' hands as they walk inside a meeting to talk about what happens next. I feel like we're thrown on the bus. Her little one, eight year old JC, would be starting her second year here at Our Lady of Lourdes, a small Catholic school in Raytown. But the school is closing after 59 years. It's a week before school, it's supposed to start Tuesday. Um, that was bad because now we have to shuffle. It even sat in the children. We informed them last night at dinner and they had some tears. The school sent a letter to parents that said they'd seen a 71% drop in enrollment over the last 10 years. This year, it dipped to 57 students for pre K through eighth grade. Closing any school is a difficult thing because uh, you have the hearts and minds and the most precious product that, uh, that, that parents have. At least eight Catholic schools and the Raytown Public School District were in the meeting to help parents find a new school. They said they will refund any registration fees and if parents pick another Catholic school, they will honor their tuition agreement. A relief for some parents. We're looking forward to it though. We're happy we're, we're raring, raring to go. For others, they wish this would have been handled differently. Well, if they were going to close it, let us know maybe at least a month in advance, not tell us uh, by email. That's a little impersonal. But no matter how these parents feel, this school will close. We're told at least half of the students have already enrolled in new schools. Now, as for the staff, the diocese tells me they're hopeful that they can find jobs in other schools around the diocese for those staff members. Reporting live in Raytown tonight, Christina Medina, NBC Action News.